to my channel. This is your girl Michelle and I am back with another crochet braid tutorial. Now Diva Trust sent me this hair and it's so refreshing to get back into my crochet braids but this time I have a twist for you. These crochet braids are removable so if you want to see how I made my removable crochet braids keep watching. For the style I'm using the Free Trust Soft Wavy Faux Lock in 20 inches I got them in the color OT27 and OT30. This is what the hair looks like. It's really soft, wavy, faux locks. I really love the wave pattern in the hair. And the hair is super soft to the touch. And this is also the light version of the Free Trust Faux Lock. And because I am transitioning out of my shade size, I decided to make a wig with this unit, which is going to give me the fullness that I'm looking for and also make these crochet braids removable. And the wig cap that I chose is the Make Your Own Wig, the U-Part style cornrow cap. It has the U-Part on the top so you can leave some of your natural hair out. And it also has the adjustable straps. Now this wig cap is super light and airy, it's very comfortable. And the band around the wig cap is super comfy. Now this is my first time using one of these wig caps, so I had to kind of get used to inserting the crochet needle underneath the cornrows, but once you get the hang of it, it goes really, really fast. So it's super easy to crochet on this crochet cap. You just insert the needle underneath the cornrow, insert the loop on the latch and pull it through, and then just thread the end of the faux lock uh, in the crochet needle and pull it through the loop. Cinch it down to form your knot. What I love about these pre-loops faux locks is that there's no double knotting. They're super fast to put in and the knot is very secure. So the installation time goes by like that with these pre-looped crochet braids. Now I'm gonna give you a tip. Even though you get 24 locks in a pack, you will run out of hair if you don't space this hair out in the back. So I recommend really spacing out the hair in the back because you're gonna need most of the hair to fill in the gaps in the front. And you can always go back and fill in any gaps. So I used uh, six packs of this hair, but I recommend seven to eight packs for a full installation. Half of that if you have shave sides. Now guys, this is with two packs installed and you get 24 strands in each pack. So you can see I'm not even halfway done with the hair and I only have six packs. So make sure you space out your hair and you don't overcrowd the braids. Just space them out and then if you have some hair left over, you can go back and fill in the gaps. So in order to space out the hair in the back, I'm using the uh, bricklayer method. And basically all you do is on the row above, you space the hair to where you can fill in the gaps on the row below. So you can see down here I have gaps in this row. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install here on this row up here, here, and here. And that'll fill in the gap so you don't run out of hair. So guys, I am all done with my wig and I really like the way it turned out. These colors are so complimentary. They look really, really good together. So the only thing left to do is to try her on. And you can see I have my hair and uh, cornrows going straight to the back. I have my edges laid. And all this stuff to do now is to crochet hair in the U-part area where the cornrows are exposed. And we're gonna do that right now. And so what I'm doing is I am installing, inserting the crochet needle away from the part so that my knot can fall on the opposite side of the part for a smoother, sleeker finish. And I only had to cornrow about maybe six braids in this area. And this is how the unit turned out. I was really, really surprised, you guys, at how uh, cute this wig was and just how versatile it was and how natural it blended. I was really concerned that the edge of the wig cap would um, show and it wouldn't be a, a flawless, smooth, uh, seamless finish with uh, my edges and the wig cap. But it turned out really, really pretty. And so what can I say about this hair? Um, the hair was really easy to work with. Um, like I said earlier in the video, it knotted super easily. You only had to knot it once. That's what I love about these pre loop crochet braids. The hair is super soft to the touch. It's not irritating on the skin at all, which is a huge plus. Um, I will say that uh, the hair, this is the light version of the faux lock, uh, but this hair will get heavy if you pack this hair on. So stop them sparingly, and if you do that, you'll be very happy with these faux locks.
What I really like about this U-part wig cap is that you can either pull it back to expose more of the cornrows in the front, or you can shift it up right at your hairline to cover those cornrows up. But having the cornrows exposed actually looks cute to me. It adds a little bit of creativity to your style, and um, it kind of looks, I think it makes it look more natural. So I was really surprised at the flexibility I got with this particular wig cap. I'm really liking this. I'm gonna use this more often with my crochet braid installation. And uh, now I'm just playing around with some styling. I'm gonna show you some of the creative styles I came up with. Um, like I said, I did get this hair from divatrust.com. They sent me this hair to review. Um, I'm very appreciative of them uh, for that. And I'm gonna leave all the links below to where you can purchase this hair. You can get it at divatrust.com and they have tons of colors. So check out their website to get you some of these really cute, soft, wavy faux locks. So that will do it for my review. If you guys have any questions, leave them below and I will answer all of them. You know that I always answer all the questions you guys leave on my videos. And make sure you follow me on social media if you care to see what I am doing outside of YouTube. That's where you need to know me best on social uh, on my other social media channels. So I have all my handles there. And until the next video, you guys stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and back.